In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Valorant error code VAN79, okay? So in case you're getting that code while trying to play Valorant, here's what you have to do. Now, don't worry, I have six steps over here, but I'll show you how to perform each and every single one of these on your computer. This is just a Word document to help us navigate through. Now, the first thing you can do is to go to services on your computer, which is done by going down here and into search and typing in services. There we go. And you want to click it. And then what you want to do is look for VGC. OK, now I don't have um, Valorant installed on this computer, so I won't have that service. However, you will see it when you uh, find the, the services starting on V. So you can either scroll or simply press V on your keyboard and it will take you to the V section where all the kind of V, uh, v services are. OK, let's start with the V. Now look for VGC, as I said, and then what you want to do is right click it and click properties. Now in here, what you have to do is make sure you set the startup type to automatic. OK, and the way you do this, let me show you a different one. Um, if I go in here, OK, it won't let me. So you will be able to basically click manual over here if it says manual and switch it to automatic. Then once you do that, you want to press apply and OK and then go into these settings yet again. So into properties and make sure if the service status says stopped, you want to click start and make sure it says started. OK, now when it says started, that's it. You can press OK and apply and then you're done with the first step. Then see if uh, your Valorant has started working. If it didn't, there's one more thing we're going to do right now. OK. Now you want to go to command prompt. So you want to go down here to search again and type in CMD. Right click on it and run it as administrator. Now you may have to put in your admin pin. If you have to just do it, nothing bad will happen. And then what you have to do over here is type in what you can see here on my screen. OK, so this one, the first one is net sh winsock and then reset. OK, and you want to press enter. And as you can see, it will say successfully reset the Windows uh, Winsock catalog and then you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So, of course, after we're done with this, you'll have to restart your computer. And the second thing you want to do before restarting your computer is IP config and then spacebar slash flush DNS. OK, press enter yet again. And that's it. It says successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. You then want to close down your command prompt and restart your computer. Now, once you've done that, and if it still doesn't work, you want to go to Windows Update and check for updates. The way you do this, again, go to search and type in update. Over here, you'll see check for updates. You want to click on this. It will take you directly to your updates. You want to click check for updates. And if there's any updates popping up whatsoever, so if you see an update over here, what you want to do is download it and install it. OK, this is done automatically. It will take a few minutes for it to complete and your computer will restart. As you can see, I have an update, so you should press download and install and this will automatically do it. So your computer knows how to do it. It will do it automatically. Once you've done that and your computer has reset and if it's still not working, what you want to do is go to network reset, which you can again find down here in the search menu. So network reset and you want to click it. And then here, press reset now. This will reset kind of your network, so network settings on your computer, and your computer will um, restart, and hopefully this will solve your issue. Now, if it still doesn't work, what you should do is run Steam as admin and open Valorant via Steam. And the way you can do this is very easy. What you first have to do is completely close down Steam. And the way you do this is firstly, just closing the Steam app. So in case you've got it open, just like I do over here, you want to close it down and then you want to go over here to show hidden items. Right click on Steam and press exit Steam. Then once that's done, you want to make sure no Steam services are running on your computer. And you can do that by right clicking on the taskbar, pressing task manager in here. Go to the top and type in Steam. If nothing pops up, that's great. Steam has shut down. But if something does pop up, so if the Steam app hasn't shut down completely, what you want to do is click on it and press end task up here. Now, once you've done that, you yet again want to go to search and look for Steam. This time, right click on it and run it as administrator. Now, again, if it asks you for the admin pin, 
put that in and you're set. Now your Steam will start loading up. It could take a bit more than usual for it to kind of find the network and stuff like that, but it will. And when it opens up, we're going to proceed to the next step. So it will log you in and open Steam as usual. There's no changes, as you can see. What you then want to do is go to your library and then you want to look for your Valorant game. Click on it and click play over here. So essentially, you're launching Valorant over here. And since uh, you've, you're launching it via Steam and we open Steam as an admin, this game, so the Valorant game, will be launched as an admin as well, okay? Which is great. Now, this will hopefully resolve your issue. But if it didn't, there's one more thing we can do. So you want to go to your Valorant shortcut on your uh, home screen, so on your desktop. As I said, I don't have Valorant in this computer, so I'll show you a different game, but it's completely similar. It's the exact same thing. Look for Valorant wherever you open it from, the shortcut, and then you want to right-click it and go into Properties. In here, you want to go inside Detail, excuse me, I messed up. So you want to go to Properties, and in here, you will see a tab which says Compatibility, okay? Now, it won't let me do this because I don't have, I'm not the admin user in this computer, but I'll show you how to do it. Just right click it and go to properties. Let me navigate myself into the correct properties I want to show you that in. So, an alternative way, of course, if you're not using uh, these, um, if you're not using a shortcut, you can simply go over here and then right click on your Valorant game, go to properties over here, installed files, and click browse. Then this will open up. Um, kind of the folder where your Valorant is installed and you want to look for the exe file. Now for me, as you can see, this is for the once human game, it's in here. And then you want to right click this and click properties, okay? But if you have a shortcut on your desktop, that's great, you can do it there. And in here, you'll see this compatibility, as you can see, click on it, check run this program in compatibility mode 4 and then select Windows 8. Click disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator. Now you want to then click apply and OK and simply run Valorant through here or through your desktop shortcut. So that's pretty much it. I hope any of these solved your issue and you're now able to play Valorant. And if this video did help you out, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.